welcome back to my channel. I just got a package from ColourPop. I know exactly what this is. And I wanted to do a swatch party video because swatch party videos is where my channel kind of not really started, but people do love, or I don't know why I'm saying people. I don't know if people love my swatch party videos. I love making swatch party videos because when I first started watching YouTube, I didn't feel like there was a lot of people with my skin tone on YouTube, and so I like to do swatch parties. So in case you're considering buying some of this stuff, you can see it on a skin tone similar to yours. So here is what we're swatching today. It is the new Becky G X ColourPop palette, and it's called uh, Savage. Savage in Spanish is Salvage. I believe I don't know but when I first saw the purple pictures of this I was like oh my god that is the stupidest thing ever but the longer I stared at it the more convinced I was to pick this up so if you're interested in seeing some of the swatches of the eyeshadow palettes and I did pick up some of the lippies as well just keep watching okay guys so I've been going through a really like fun lip phase and I picked up this shade, which is Dreamaholic, from the ColourPop Chasing Rainbows collection. I just thought it was the most beautiful thing, but honestly, I can't see myself wearing this gloss because it has a very blue-purple hue to it. I can't remember if I already swatched this for you guys, but I feel like this would make me look very ashy. So, if any of you want it, honestly, you can just leave me a comment down below and I could shoot it to you in the mail. But when the Chasing the Rainbows collection launched, I panicked and I forgot to order this color, which I had my eye on. This is a beautiful periwinkle shade from the Chasing Rainbows collection called Make Believe. And I don't know what it was about this color, but it just drew me in. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And while I was on the ColourPop website, I saw this one as well and I was like, well that looks like a color that might look cool on me potentially and it's this teal shade it's called dr m it's not new by any means from ColourPop, but i don't think i'd ever owned it and i believe it's an ultra matte so there it is and i don't have a lipstick on right now so let's try it out and see i was going to try one of the becky g colors but keep I've had a long day at work. My makeup looks like a hot mess. Mm -hmm. You guys left me really nice comments. When I wore Karma Liquid Lip from Jeffree Star, in one, of my, in one of my videos, so I decided to be a risk taker and uh, buy more fun lip shades for my collection so I can wear them in videos at least. Okay, I kind of messed up my Cupid's bowl, but hopefully you guys don't mind. Oh, my makeup. My makeup looks so ratch right now. So yeah, this is Dr. M by ColourPop, and I just bought it for fun because I'm going through this liquid lipstick crazy color phase. And then to balance it out, I did, like I said, get the Sauvage collection, and I bought all the Ultra Mattes because I haven't tried any of the new Ultra Mattes from ColourPop in a long, long time. So I figured what better collection to buy than one that was done by a Latina because she did all these like spicy red shades. So we have Secret Secreto Flor and Besame. Is Besame love in Spanish? I can't remember. I'm sorry guys. Don't hate me. I didn't take Spanish in school or anything. See these are like my kind of nudes. So that is um Secreto Nice, this packaging is so cute. This one is Floor. 
You can hardly tell the difference. It's just another more rusty shade of orange. And then I'm going to swatch Besame. Oh, this is pretty. Ooh, this is like a red, but it's like a also kind of a, not a rusty red, but it's not like a bright, bright red, but it's gorgeous. It's so fun. So those are the three lippy shades from the ColourPop X Becky G collection. And then let's swatch the palette. I'm excited to see this in person for the first time. You guys ready? This outer packaging is so my vibe. Okay. It's actually pretty boring looking. I don't know. I was expecting something more exciting, but it's pretty non-savage. Oh, ColourPop. Okay, let's just watch and see what the formulas are like. So the first row is pretty neutral. Let me swatch. We got Luna, Cafecito, Estrella and Celosa. Cel Oops, I hope I'm not butchering that. Looks like a beautiful bronze lid shade. Honestly, guys, I think I'm going to declutter more of my ColourPop collection. Especially with all the new palettes they're coming out with. I'll get this row. It's potentially my favorite. This Red orange shade is so in right now. There's a shade similar to this in the Pat McGrath palette. So we have Malbec, which is a wine. I know this because my father in law is a huge wine connoisseur. Then the pretty shade is Patrona. Ooh, that definitely looks a lot like the Pat McGrath color. And this teal green matte is called Vibra, and then we have Serena. I think I saw Becky G do an interview on this collection, and she's like, if I wasn't a singer, I would have been a makeup artist, and I feel like that's what they all say to try and make it sound like their collabs are legitimate. <laughs> oh, ColourPop. They're not going to get me again, I swear, you guys. I'm... I just can't believe I keep falling for this shit. Okay. Swatchy swatch. Can you guys even see those last couple of shades? The last two shades are so light. So this gold shade is called Corona, Sangria, Carmelo, and Lola. So there are all the swatches. I, had, I think I had mentioned in a Will I Buy It video where I talked about this palette that I felt like this collection was going to be more tan girl friendly and honestly now that I've swatched this on my skin tone I really don't feel like that's the case at all I think that might have been just a marketing point that they decided to use to kind of help sell the product to people but looking at this it's really not any extra unique but I did pick it up and it does have a mirror which could be one of the reasons why this is a little bit more pricey than uh, the regular ColourPop palettes and the artwork is really cool as well. They just announced ColourPop is collabing with Kathleen Lights for a limited edition holiday collection. We'll not be picking that up, but I'm curious to know if they're done so far for this year or if they'll have even more because I think when the holiday collection was announced, I had maybe predicted that they'll do like three or four more collections and they've already, I feel like, far exceeded that expectation. So. It'll be interesting to know what is to come in ColourPop's future. Anyway, I hope you guys did find this video useful and entertaining. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I also do want to let you guys know I'm going to throw in a giveaway in this video. I have a few different giveaways I want to do through the month of December. It's the holiday season, it's my birthday month, and it's a big birthday for me. I turned 30 this year, so I want to give back to my subscribers. And if you made it to the end of this video, I will leave all the giveaway rules down below. This is one of the prizes. I have other prizes. I might show this in a few videos because it's right here so I can keep picking it up. There's different goodies in each bag and I have about 10 gifts I want to give away. So check the description box to enter and I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching this Swatch Party video and I hope you guys are having a fabulous holiday season. 
I will see you soon. Bye guys.